guys, welcome to a plugin tutorial on Bungie Chords. So this plugin allows you to connect multiple servers together and have players join via um, a particular server, which is going to be this one, and then through that one they're going to be able to go to other ones, like these two, uh, via a command or a portal. So um, you can also set the max amount of players, which is why on something like Mindplex you have this, um, so 16,000, that's not on one server, that's on probably about 100, possibly even more. So, um, what we're going to want to do is create some servers. So I've got uh, two here, and each of them has a different IP. Uh, so it's localhost colon, um, say, 255.67.68.69. So I like to keep it very simple. So you're going to want to download Bungie Cord, create a new folder, and all you're going to need is the Bungie Cord file. Um, so let's copy the name of that, and a server start file. So we're going to want to edit it and change either the craftbucket.jar or the spigot.jar to bungiecord.jar and then just save it as uh, bungiestart.bat so that's very important that it's a bat file and we can delete the server start and run this so this is outdated but it still works and the server will start in 30 seconds so while that's doing that uh, I can show you um, this one so when it does load you'll get this and uh, in here, you want to edit the config. This is uh, the only one that really matters. And I think it's uh, pretty easy if you set the uh, default port, uh, which is up here, to 25565. So that will be something else, possibly. So change this and the query port to 25565. Um, then you can... Um, add servers down here so you, it's very easy you can just copy uh, paste or go to the end then paste and server I don't know server creative uh, change the port maybe it's 77 and there you go so you, um, you could change the message of the day if you wanted to so that's very simple um, but yeah uh, online mode is probably best to keep that true and the uh, ping right this is also important so you can either set it to global or local so it just depends whether you want to see everyone or just the people in your server so I'll keep it to global like like that uh, and the other thing you want to change is the name of the fallback server so um, I've named it server one uh, you could call it anything else like um, lobby lobby one so uh, it, it was default called lobby but I changed it so hopefully everything should work because it worked a few minutes ago when I did it. <laughs> but knowing my luck, it's not going to work. But uh, yeah, that's how you set it up. Um, yeah, so you save that. Uh, this is probably, uh, yep, that started. And the default is 25577. You're going to want to change that to 25565. So you can uh, stop it by typing end and that'll stop it. There you go. So uh, let's use this one because that's all configed. Bungie start. And while we're at it, we can start spigot server one. Here we go. And spigot server two. There we go. And spigot server three. Uh, is my computer going to crash? I hope not because they're running on two gigs of RAM each and I've only got eight gigs. <laughs> so, oh, that's, that's a bit dangerous. Uh, that hasn't started yet. These have. So they are probably here. So, yeah. So these two have started at the moment. Um, <coughs> I could add another one, so let me just uh, change this. Like so, uh, so what's this? That's the 6.6, six. that is the 6.9, so we need the 6.8. So um, all mine are localhost, colon 255.68. There you go, so that should be server three. There you go. So uh, the Bungie Cord server, uh, what I probably didn't show you is that you can set the uh, the max players to anything you want. So that is here. So you can set it to 99,253 if you wanted to. Uh, and then you'd look really special. Because 17,001, why would you why would you do that? I don't understand. Uh, so we're going to join the Bungie server. So uh, this is the IP you set. So uh, I'm using localhost, but uh, you can use your own one. So we're going to join it, and uh, we're going to be on server one, or lobby one, which is what it's called. So if you use server, uh, it shows you all the servers. And um, so we have lobby one, server two, and server three. So um, 
here, uh, here we go. This is all that said earlier, server two. So if we go to server, server three, uh, oh no, server, then the server names are server three. This is a new world, uh, which is pretty cool. So you could have different plugins on this, maybe creative, maybe factions. And you can do server lobby one to get back. To, so this is server one, which is pretty cool. So we actually spawned in a different server. So server one, although it's called lobby one. So um, yeah, and you can do server, server two, and this brings you to server two, which I uh, logged out in last time, which is pretty cool. So um, server lobby one could be your lobby. Uh, you could have a world that's just a void, so it doesn't use too much RAM, and a nice hub, possibly built by me, because I've made some of those. And yeah, um, this is recording with Camtasia. It's probably lagging like hell. Sorry for that. Um, and I am running a, a bajillion servers. Um, so yeah, uh, too much speak. Ooh, don't want to open Google. Um, there's nothing bad on it. Just uh, It's fine. But, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope that's uh, cleared up everything. Uh, that just showed some things. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it's not confusing anymore. If it is, uh, just drop a comment down below and I should be able to help. Um, but yeah, S tell me what plugin you want to see next and I'll see you next time.